What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers, I'm Tradman, welcome to the YouTube channel once again. Today we are talking about ladders, are they really unsafe? Stay tuned. So yes indeed folks, today we are discussing ladders. Should you get them? Should you use them? Are they safe? And all those kinds of things. So if you've been on the likes of different forums or Facebook groups and things like that, it's quite a highly debated thing whether to get ladders, to use them, and benefits and possible, forgive the pun, downfalls of using a ladder. So should you use a ladder in your business? That's what we're going to be discussing today. Now, a lot of the times I've heard people moving on from traditional ways of doing things, i.e. squeegees and ladders, and I've moved on to water fed pole because of possible accidents with ladders. So what really are the issues? Is it the ladder itself or is it the user? That's the kinds of things we're going to be having a look at as well. So when choosing the ladders, that's the first thing. If you are going to get a set of ladders, then it's quality I would recommend going for. Here in the UK, we have a company called Ramsey Ladders. They make really nice ladders. So if you are going to use ladders in your business, I'd rec highly recommend that you get good quality ladders. Don't try and go for the cheap things. Bear in mind, this is something that's going to be holding you up when you're, you know, 10, 20 feet or more up in the air. So you want something that's good quality. Now, what are some of the issues when using ladders? Well, there's many issues that you have to think about when you're using a ladder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link just up there for you. And it's going to be to uh, basically hints and tips video on how to use a ladder. But there's loads of different videos on YouTube um, that will teach you how to use ladders safely. And there's also courses as well that you can go on to teach you how to use them properly. 99% of the time when people have issues with ladders, it's not actually due to the ladder itself. Unless something has broken on the ladder, then 99% of the time it is user error. So what do we mean when we say user error? Well, what we mean is when you're setting up a ladder, it's got to be at the correct angle. So if you have your building like so, if the ladder is too far out, obviously it will slip out. If the ladder is too close to the building, there's a likelihood of you falling back off of the ladder. If you place your ladder on a slidey surface, then potentially if it's windy as well, there's that potential of the ladder moving. So there's a lot of factors, and I think one of the biggest problems with ladder use is becoming over, overly familiar with it, a bit too complacent, is that the right way to put it? Uh, taking it for granted, taking safety for granted, and people will almost boast about running up and down ladders, two rungs at a time, this kind of thing. Um, Overstretching, that's another issue as well. If you've got a window that's just off to the right or the left, rather than come down the ladder and safely move it, they will overstretch and usually come off. So are ladders really the enemy? Well, the actual answer is no. Ladders are perfectly fine to use if you know how to use them and you treat the ladders with respect. Now, a lot of the time, if people have moved on to using the water fed pole because they've had an accident, obviously having an accident is no good to nobody. That's not good, wouldn't wish it on anyone. But the problem 99% of the time is incorrect use. They've either put the ladder on a slippy surface, they've not set it up at a correct angle, overreaching, all these kinds of things. And to be honest, a lot of these people that, you know, will say they've had an accident on a ladder and they've moved over to water fed because of that, the thing they don't tell you is actually what really happened. What really happened was they didn't use the ladder correctly or treat the ladder with respect. Now, accidents happen. That's the world we live in. Accidents do happen. You know, you know, if it was a strong gust came out of nowhere and took them off a ladder kind of thing, then obviously these are things that you have to be careful. If you're, you know, working on a day where it is extremely windy, is it sensible to go up a ladder? Are you going to take chances or are you going to get an extension pole out and use that instead? So having the water fed pole is a great add on. It's a super tool, absolutely brilliant. And I would never knock traditional or water fed pole. Both tools are fantastic to use. But when it comes to ladders and using them, they are perfectly fine. So long as you have a secure footing, use something like safety feet or you get the ladder matrix, things like that, things that can go underneath the ladder to make it secure. And the reasons why you would possibly use one is, say, for instance, on first cleans, 
uh, where the job is really dirty and there's potentially you know paint silicon cement hard water stains things like that on the glass that just will not come off of the water fed pole now in previous videos you've seen me uh, using the ladders to go up and with bronze wool or a razor or other kinds of cleaning things I'll use them to get off those kinds of debris that we've just mentioned but those are the kinds of things that annoyingly you know unless you know a way leave it in the comments box below where a water fed pole will remove those bits and pieces then unfortunately you either have to go up a ladder or you have to try and get access from the inside and flip the window so those are the kind of instances where you would use a ladder so first cleans you know debris on the glass that you can't get off with a water fed pole jobs that come up that you're only doing maybe once a year sometimes you know these jobs are so bad that you need to get up there nose to glass and just get that ingrained dirt off now the water fed pole is fantastic for getting the worst of the dirt off you know um things that is like normal dirt so you know mud dust birds mess bug mess things like that things that the water fed pole can cope with and again, if you've got the bronze wool attachment on the water fed pole as well, great add on that you can use to help you get through your work. And it also depends how you've priced the job as well. So if you've priced it for a normal clean, then by all means, just use the water fed pole and get the worst of the, the dirt off to the point where it's still passable. But if you want to go that extra mile and take off things like silicon, cement, paint, all that kind of stuff, then you're going to have to price it accordingly. So when you see me go up ladders and on a first clean, I'm taking off things like we've mentioned, those things are factored into the price. Okay, so when I speak to a customer, I can offer them, well, I can do it with a water fed pole and it'll be a bit quicker, uh, be a bit easier for me, but it'll also be a bit cheaper for you because I'll get it done probably a heck of a lot quicker. If I do it the traditional way and basically, you know, go up the ladders, nose to glass and get it absolutely perfect to the point where you can eat your dinner off it, then that's going to cost more. That's more of like a, a deluxe package, if you like. Um, so, you know, it's offering your customer these things. And one of the things that's made us really busy in our area is the fact that most companies don't offer their customers that level of service. Most customers here have to basically make do with just getting water fed pole and that's the only option now if that's what you do that's no problem at all that's entirely up to you and you factor that into your business no problem at all if your customers are happy with that perfectly fine not knocking it but what we're talking about today is using ladders to go that extra mile and get things off the glass that are just not removable by using water fed pole so bearing in mind using a ladder get good quality ladders get something that's going to make the bottom of that ladder secure. So safety feet or ladder matrix, something like that, if you are going to use ladders. For me, I've got the Ramsey feet. They're circular cups, basically, suction cups that kind of suck to the floor. So as the name suggests. So we use them and I've never in over, I've over a decade of window cleaning even came close to falling off my ladder. But I've never taken the ladder for granted. I've always gone up one rung at a time, been sensible on it, you know, I haven't done stupid things like one leg hanging off and overreaching. Always treat the ladder with respect and you won't have an issue. If you use common sense, don't go up when it's really, really windy, use an extension pole. If it's icy, use an extension pole or your water fed pole, you know. So ladders are not the enemy, folks. If you've had an accident, I'm really sorry to hear that. But you'll probably find yourself, if you're truly honest with yourself and examine exactly what happened, it's most likely that it's not been set up correctly um, or you've gone up too fast, come down too fast. There'll be a, probably a reason for it unless the ladder's actually failed itself, i.e. a rung's come off, which I've never seen in my life. But if you've maybe using old wooden ladders or something, maybe that's happened. But like I say, that's why it's good to invest in good quality ladders. So unless the ladders actually fail itself, then it's user error, putting it up in the wrong place or using it in the wrong way. So bear that in mind, folks, that if you are going to get ladders, you know, by all means, definitely maybe do a course. And again, you can get loads of videos and tutorials and things like that on YouTube. That's one place, uh, you know, so just do your research, you know, do your research. Don't take those ladders for granted and think, oh, I've been up them a million times. I'll be fine. That's when accidents happen. You know, it is safer to keep your feet on the ground, of course. So water fed pole from a safety aspect, is safer. So I'll put that out there now. Ladders are 
more of a, a risk, you know? So bear that in mind. Water fed pole is safer. So that's why you have to respect the ladders even more, you know? So if you are gonna use it, bear that in mind. Okay then folks, so that's what we've been discussing today. I just wanted to get this topic out there because it's something that's quite highly debated. Some guys will, you know, view ladders as a plague and they won't go near it. Other guys will only use ladders because they feel that's the only way to get the job 100%. So it's trying to get everyone to think, well, get a balance, you know, get a balance between knowing when to use it and when to leave it in the van or on the truck, you know. Um, so it's it's an educational thing. I want to get the ball rolling for an educational side of things and um, see what you guys think, you know. So leave your comments in the box below. It'd be much appreciated and get this topic going and see what you think. And uh, yeah, and be safe out there. That's number one. Be safe. We all want to come home and we want to earn a pretty penny, don't we? So <laughs> we don't want any accidents. All right. So thanks very much for tuning in. Much appreciated. Let's get talking about this in the comments box below. And I'll uh, then see you in the next video. You take care. And I mean that. Be good. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.